Hello, this is a very quick look at the Viewpoint Mini Photo Printer. This is a tiny little printer, something that you can carry around in your pocket or your bag very easily. In terms of measurements and the actual size, it's about 15 centimeters by seven and a half centimeters, as you can see here. So really easy to take this around with you, slip it into your jacket pocket, no problem. On the top, you've got a couple of status indicator lights. This also has an NFC tag to allow you to quickly pair it. This is where the photos actually come out. They're about a wallet size photo. To the side, this is where you enter the cartridges. Now keep in mind that these cartridges uh, do need replacing. You get about 10 shots out of them. You can get a pack of, well, 30 shots for 19.99, which is about just under 70p a print, which is quite expensive. On the back, you've got the USB charge point and you also have the power button. Once you've powered it up, it's very easy to get started. It just takes a moment to power up. You do need to charge this first before you can do any prints. Download the dedicated app. It'll find the printer for you. You can either take a picture or use an existing picture. I'm going to take a picture of these little salt and pepper tardises. The app itself then allows you to do some basic editing. So you can put uh, filters on it. You can change saturations, all, all the kind of stuff you're used to. You don't have to use this. You could pre-edit the photo in your favorite app first, save it and then open the photo for printing. But it's nice to see it's got some inbuilt options. The app's okay. I did find it a little bit tricky to use with the stickers. They're, they're a, bit, um, a bit fiddly when you're trying to actually get anything done. Once you've got the photo how you want it, you simply save it. So as you're going along, you save each stage. So there's a range of stickers that you can add. And once you've got it correct, you can drag them around, put them wherever you want. Once you've got it in the right place, again, you save the sticker, so that's fixed in place, and then you're ready to print. Printing itself is actually quite interesting to watch. Once your phone has connected to the printer and you make sure the printer's on, you simply hit the print button and leave it to do its thing. You'll notice that the photo actually is printed in several stages. So as it, as it comes out, it comes out in stages, first print, then it goes back in, second, third, until it's finally done. This only takes a couple of minutes and actually it's quite interesting to watch as your photo literally develops before your eyes. This process doesn't take too long, but I'm gonna speed things up so you can see the final print. Note the app is available on both Android and iOS. So I'm using this on my Android phone, but you could use this on your iPad and it is AirPrints compatible. Once the print's finally completed, the printer gives it a little shake just to let you know it's now finished. Photo quality is really good, as you can see here. The top section, the, the white bar at the top, that's useful for removing it from the printer, but that can actually be removed. This is a perforated section, as you can see here, and you simply just pull that off and you have your completed photo. I tried this on a pre-taken photograph as well. The, the first photo was taken with an Android phone. This photo was taken with a DSLR camera on holiday, so the colors are much brighter. It was at, at the seaside. It's a, quite a different image. And again, I was very pleased with the color reproduction. Both photos look fantastic. Both have a, a very different look to them, and yet the printers coped really well with them. This is a great little gadget. The little photo printer is great if you're with groups and you want to pass out some little mementos of whatever occasion you're at. Just keep in mind the cost of printing these photos are a lot higher than if you were to print them using a normal photo printer or an online service. Hope you found the short review useful. Thanks for watching.